Hello Matrix and welcome again to another lesson and today we are doing the Matric Maths Memo for 2019 question 7.4. We are still doing calculus and this question is a little bit different from what you might have seen before. So let's get stuck into it. Now, when you see a question that you haven't seen before, sometimes you don't necessarily know how you are going to get the full marks, but you know you are in um, calculus. And with calculus, you always have to find the derivative. It's one of the things that you need to do. So what we could do is, even if we didn't know what we were doing here, we could at least know that if we need to find the equation of, of a line perpendicular to the tangent, we can at least find the derivative of this graph which would then tell you the slope of the graph. And we know that um, the slope of the graph at a single point is the tangent. What do I mean by that? Let's just say we had a graph here and we had a line like this. Okay, and this was a tangent. At this point, if this was f of f of x, then f dash of x would give us the slope. Okay, the slope. And so the point, if this point was say a, the x value was a, then f dash of a, so if I substituted in whatever this point was, let's call it, um, let's call it two because in this question, um, it's a two. So if this x value is two, then at this point here, where x is two, the slope f dash of two would equal whatever value I got. Okay, so when in doubt, find the derivative, right? Y dash is equal to the derivative of x is just one, and the other one is 12 to the minus x, so to the x minus one, I beg your pardon, which is just minus 12, x to the minus two, minus one times 12 is minus 12, minus one minus one is minus two. And that would become minus 12 to the x minus two, which would then be one over 12. And they don't like you to do negative exponents. So that would be your y dash. Well, what you could do now would be to find is you would be able you would know the slope of the tangent at that point, which would be I substitute in two because the point is two. So the slope, so let's just say um, where x equals two, y dash equals one minus twelve over 2 squared is equal to 1 minus 12 over 4 which is 3 so y dash is equal to minus 2 so we know the slope of the of the tangent but now they want the line perpendicular to the tangent so therefore line perpendicular to the tangent is the reciprocal. So negative two is the same as saying negative two over one. So the perpendicular line to that, the slope would be positive a half. Okay, so we know that M is equal to a half. And now we know that the general formula for a a line is y equals mx plus c. So we know m. We know m. But we need to find c. Well, all we need is another point on the graph. So how do we get that other point? Well, we know that one value of x is 2. So we could get the y value of this point by simply substituting 2 into the equation. So I would say, um, y equals t 
2 plus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus 6, which is 8. So I know that A, the point A is 2 and 8. Now I can substitute that into this equation here. So y equals m, so y. Okay, so we know that y is eight. We know that m is a half. We know that x is two. So we can figure out c, because it'll be eight, then minus one, which is equal to c. c equals seven. So the final equation is y equals a half x plus seven. Okay, so that is question 7.4. I will see you again for, I think we're doing question eight next. That's what comes after seven.